Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. This is Damoiseau Creator. I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday so far. Damoiseau Creator, a couple of zoom ups, two flybys of UFOs. Take note of them because not many, if not no one is, um, of what's going by. I'll get some music up and then we're going to plunge into that projectile that I posted. This is something that is research that I'm working on and I've advanced a bit. I've seen um, a closer view of the surface and the light that appears, a UFO appearing um, or a projectile. Well, even if it's a projectile, it's a UFO. We don't know what it is. A UFO is just basically an unknown flying object. But here's the thing. It looks like it was projected off, launched off the surface. We're going to show it in clear close-up detail. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is going to be a great video. Now, we're looking at the east side of the moon, turned around, so the moon is turned left, so that we can see these UFOs coming into view. But when I zoom in, and you will be amazed when I show you, those who have not seen this, um, and by the way, it's all enhanced. We're close, guys. We're seeing little details, minute details, that would be impossible to see as this was happening pretty fast. But slowing down the footage, zooming in and adjusting the exposure, I noticed these two beautiful lights on the surface. I don't know if they're that beautiful because as much as I'm thinking they're UFOs, I'm starting to wonder if they're not projectiles from the surface. And I'm going to show you why I think a projectile because I'm going to actually show you where it was launched on the surface. We're going to see um, an amazing view of some proof, again, of something that we don't understand, but that we're seeing right in front of our eyes happening on the surface activity now this is slowed down now get ready because the good part is coming up let's see the launches we'll see it from different angles and different ways watch no filtering this is straight up close-up shot the sky illuminates immediately after probably about a second and a half after whoop this pops up in an angle towards the right leaving s split seconds after this light or projectile or whatever a ufo leaving that area where that black line appeared from the surface literally from the surface as it lands there's others that are being launched there's one in the back there further out uh, to the left to the right and we're going to even move over watch this in the same live footage this is live 
there we go just at the end i showed you the proof of another launch and i'll show you them to you in full view but did you see that they're happening so fast i'm trying to capture them in the footage and zoom up close there's a launch on the left whatever it is we'll call it a launch okay we see something uh, lifting off the surface let's just call it a launch it doesn't mean it is i'm telling you what i'm seeing obviously using common sense something just freaking flipped up off the surface in a straight line and now there's a light coming from it and it's moving okay and now it's landing on the surface there's another one on the left another one in the back there there we are zooming up to the edge of the moon look at the light do you see how wide that light is now this is moving pretty fast and then it just plunges into the dust haze or under the cloud cover on the surface and there we go the other one so this is number two in the back there are more lights more objects projectiles that are going to come into view so what's going on this is about eight seven or eight weeks ago so hey you know maybe three months ago in the footage that i caught but why was this seen with regular p900 footage i'm not gonna hide it yeah that's right this isn't a 14 inch scope guys this was with a camera slowed down zoomed up exposure taken down obviously no saturation needed obviously the surface is so green and the green surface does look like forest areas maybe it's not maybe it's some kind of green material insulation maybe over whatever structures are on the surface but it does look unnatural and when you see it in color it's <laughs> a lot different than looking at a gray boring moon when it really is not a gray boring moon we're going to zoom up here guys on three objects that are like pointed like mountain peaks if you want I, listen totally unnatural and they're side by side some light sources around it uh, lines going to and from it so analyze these this is all around the edge of the moon but again i'm following the terminator light which is that black light there it is on the bottom three lines one light source in the center one a bit uh, to the right anyway you can see that they're all connected by the center line all these anomalies on the surface right in front of our eyes but because when you're looking at it, um at the footage sorry gray it's really hard to see the differences of each object and like this with you know no tampering but just the exposure taken down this isn't color added this is not colorized it's it's natural see these objects we can see now the elevation of them gives us a really good idea of um, how many levels there are on the surface there are very deep descending levels on the moon up to down to 10,000 feet you know that's what we were told anyways uh, recently I think a year ago less than a year ago by NASA um, and or scientists this is again the terminator light is that moon phase as it moves over that line of light elevates and magnifies and shows us the color on the surface and not just the light but it really helps this is the Chrysium basin Mare Chrysium and we can see all the beautiful colors of the surface I've showed over 20 25 craters that the surface is really virtually green and Listen, guys, you can't get rid of atmosphere and or dust, haze or clouds. We have to show it. And it's something beautiful because we're seeing it moving and the oscillation. When you get in close, you, you actually see that the oscillation on the surface of the moon is actually cloud cover or smoke or haze. And don't forget, a telescope, how it works is that when you see a structure that is too small or object, natural or not, it's not if it's not in focus, it when it appears, it just appears like a ghost out of nowhere. So you have all these oscillating surfaces as the telescope's trying to focus in and working really hard. Again, don't forget following the moon all at the same time. We're gonna zoom in here on a very green surface and you'll see the greens come up and look at the surrounding area around a crater. Look how green it is.
my brother Dennis Delano. Man, thanks a lot for being an amazing friend and for the generous contributions. I love you for it, man. The team that you see here, all the names at the end of each and every video that I display, well, it's thanks to all of them that this channel is what it is. Thanks, everyone.